welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have my candle or my most updated candle collection. I will preface by stating I just placed an order, an online order with a Canadian candle company that I am very proud to have. My husband actually forwarded me the information. Nelson gave me the info. Um, I'll explain when I do a haul video in the future about what that is and where this company is, is located in Canada. Um, but anyway, so there will be a couple more added to this collection. Of course, I am moving uh, mid-July. I'm trying to get through some of my candles. I know I won't go through all of them, and some of them are very seasonal, of which some of my favorites um, that I only burn certain times of year. So let's just hope they make it in the move and that I can burn it on the other side. So let's just get cracking. So right here, you've got the Fizzy Cola from DW Home. This one here is like the smaller one wick candle. And this one states that it has 33 hours approximately of burn time. I generally get a little bit more than that. I don't find this size here burns the best right now. It's actually kind of like... It's okay, it's been burning for a few hours, but it has been struggling from the very beginning. So I did purchase this one at Winners. It's a little bit busted on the lid, but it is in the Fizzy Cola. So it's supposed to be like a, a cola scent, sort of like that Coke bottle uh, candy that we would get at the store. Pick this one up for $9.99. And this one over here, this is Sand and Fog the Company, and it's actually burning fairly well. It's doing a good job here. And I love the jar. Um, the jar is absolutely stunning. This is the lid to that jar. Uh, it sees sand and fog with a little leaf. It does like actually close very well rather than just rust on top. So it does seal. Um, this is a really nice candle. Mm, I'd say I get a two out of 10 throw for this one and a zero out of 10 for the Fizzy Cola. I really don't get much. It's more ambience, ambiance at this point. So those are the two candles I have burning at the moment. Now let's dive into some Bath and Body Works candles here that I have, one of which was a gift and the other, other three, sorry, other three I actually have, and I'm tr gonna hope that they save well uh, for our trip back, our move back to British Columbia. So um, the gift one we'll start off with, and that is Winter Mint and Spruce. And I know this is like definitely sought after by many people. Now, a friend of mine, and she came to my office. It was so nice of her. Um, when I was working in Shimana, on Vancouver Island prior to us moving, she bought me two of these. I believe it, at the time it was an online only purchase. She bought two of the winter mint, and spruce, winter mint and Spruce and gave them both to me. I have chopped one up and I'm just hesitant because it smells so good. So we have sugared spruce, which is crisp winter mint, green pine, and frosted lavender. So um, really, really want to hold on to this one because it is very special. Then we have three from Bath & Body Works that I'm holding on to for either the fall or the winter. So two of these, the frosted cranberry I like for late fall, like November, but autumn I love for October. It's just that beautiful crisp apple scent reminds me of home. It does say it's bright red gala apple, juicy fig, and eucalyptus leaf. It's beautiful and I know a lot of vendors in the wax community also do um, dupes for this, for their wax melts. So this is one of my absolute favorites. I did purchase this a bit ago and I'm holding on to it for the fall of 2022. This one, as I just mentioned, this is my favorite cranberry candle, scented candle of Bath & Body Works. And this one's described as ice cranberries, blonde woods, and red apples. And this is just a beautiful, slightly tart cranberry scent that I love. Again, November is my favorite time to, to burn this one. And the last Bath & Body Works candle that I have in my stash is Tis the Season. One of my favorites right at Christmas, like the scents, the sp spiciness and all that, all the maldness of wine and things like that. This is what I need for Christmas. So it is described as rich red apple, sweet cinnamon and cedarwood. I don't necessarily get the cedarwood, but everything else about this, this is just, it screams Christmas and you've got reindeer on the label. Yes, I will be holding on to this for Christmas of 2022. Another Christmas scent that if you guys have been following me and my channel, hello, um, you guys know how much I love the DW Home Peppermint Bark Candle. This is the ginormous, like if you look at the size difference between the little one wick and the Mama Jamma big two wick candle here. This one here says 90 hours. I will probably get more than 90 hours. I generally get more hours than DW Home State, so they do on their jars. This is my favorite candle. This is what I like to light when we decorate the uh, Christmas tree and decorate the house. So you know that this will come out on that day, likely after Remembrance Day or Veterans Day in the US, of course. Um, that's when I like to decorate. So yes, and hello again. Up next, we have a couple here from Nest. 
uh, a new favorite candle company that I really enjoy. There's a couple new ones here and one repurchase um, because I had such great luck with the original purchase of the next one I'm going to show you. But I did go out and buy apricot tea. All of the jars look identical. Like they come with this little protector, but they're all identical. So I'm not going to take all the jars out, but it's kind of like a pen striped um, jar that you can definitely reuse down the road. This one here is an 8.1 ounce candle and the apricot tea is described as the silky smooth essence of English apricot, which is wrapped in the richness of black tea leaves, bergamot, and warm golden amber to create a relaxing moment. So I kind of hope that happens. But again, all the candles I'm going to show you from Nest just look like this. They're all the same size and I really love this company. The burn is really good. And to my opinion, I'm willing to spend a little bit more money for candles that are actually going to burn properly. And I did wait to buy all three of these. I'm going to show you at the Sephora VIB sale or the spring savings event. Um, so I got 20% off because I am rouge. So the next candle, of course, as I've mentioned, is also from Nest. And this is the linen candle. Um, I will try to remember to link the video above that I did the review for this candle. It's spectacular. It threw so well. If you love laundry scents, I highly recommend you go pick this up. If you can get it on sale, of course, if Nest themselves have um, a sale on their website, I would check them out. Otherwise, if you're a Sephora VIB or Rouge or any of that, um, I would wait to maybe get the, this on sale. So I 100% highly recommend this one. Because of this one, I end up buying that one and the next one we're going to talk about. Linen is described as a crisp linen accord, which is combined with white orchid, apple blossom, and the essence of a summer breeze absolutely amazing and did so so well in the burn so hence why I picked up a couple more and the last nest candle I'm going to discuss which is new to me I've never purchased this one before this one is in velvet pear and this one here is described as a velvety anjou pear and a crisp apple are blended with and crushed with lemon leaves and hints of peony infused with white musk and amber so again I really love the sound of this one so I can't wait to start burning this one as well so we have the one and lonely little Villispa I haven't burned this one yet but I have high hopes I remember I had the huckleberry keepers I can't remember the name of it but there was like a huckleberry one that I loved it had the same jar but it was all dark purple it was beautiful um, so this burns as well as I remember that other one. I think I might get the watermelon. There's a watermelon version of this one on Sephora. I imagine if you go to the website, they also have that. But the downfall is I used to be able to get Velespa at Chapters or Indigo here in Canada, which is a bookstore, and they have lots of home goods. But they don't sell Velespa anymore, um, which is kind of sad because it was very easy for me to smell and, and try. Um, this one is in Havana Mint Mojito, which is sparkling lime and wild mint with sweet basil and coconut rum. It is delicious. It smells exactly like a mojito. So I really have high hopes for this. Of course, when I do burn this one, I'm going to come back to you guys and let you know how this one did. So then we have the three newest members to my collection, and they all happen to be DW Home candles. I did a haul video, I'll link that also above, where I just talked about all three. I looked up all their scent note descriptions on the website. They all burn the 56 hours approximate time, but I will probably get more than that. So this is Sunset Skies, we have Salted Mango, and we have Vanilla Mango. If I were to rank these in order on cold, of which I like the most to the least, and I really had a tough time narrowing down. There were so many that day when I was in Winners. I got all of them for $14.99 Canadian. Um, so you know I love all of these, but number one would be uh, Vanilla Mango, number two would be Salted Mango, and number three would be Sunset, Sk Sunset Skies. And like I said, I had about eight and I narrowed it down to these. These are the top three. So of course, I'm really excited to start burning these, especially because they're very seasonal. I think they'll be very appropriate for the next couple months. Then of course, I have my one and only, this is the Country Home Candle. I don't even know if this company is in business any longer. They used to be Canadian, yep, crafted, handcrafted in Canada. This was the old Canada and it had our entire traditional national anthem, i.e. they've changed a word or two in our anthem in the last while and this has the the true anthem the original anthem um so i love this and i only burn this on july 1st which happens to be canada day our, our nation's birthday so the reason why i do that is because it is strongly scented in maple <laughs> and it's so sweet i literally don't even have to um if I just left this out on the counter and just walked away, it would scent the entire house. I wouldn't even have to burn it. 
but I only generally burn it for on the 1st of July and obviously for a couple hours because I do have to blow it out. And that's why you can see that I've had this for quite some time and I'm a just over halfway finished this one. I will continue the tradition this year and I will burn this one on July 1st. This candle was gifted to me by a coworker years ago and technically I really just use this. We seem to have a lot of power outages in Halifax or at least it seemed with hurricane season in the September. Um, so I've actually really only burnt this one whenever we had a power outage. Put this in the bathrooms when we were without power, put in the bathroom near the sink um, so that you can guide yourself to the toilet. <laughs> kind of thing although after a while I think your muscle memory you know you know where you're going so anyway this is not scented at all but it's pure rustic um goats on the roof which is out of uh Coombs in on Vancouver Island British Columbia before we get to the very very large candle I have in my collection I'm going to share with you my favorite summer candle um I'm actually going to bust one of these open to show you what it looks like but this is from Sol de Janeiro and it's in their traditional uh, boom boom cream scented candle and it's this little tiny candle but this little candle Chirosa 62 throws so well and it was a delight I bought the very first one of this in the summer of 2020 and at that particular time we were under massive lockdowns and we weren't allowed to go anywhere and we weren't allowed to do anything and so like the essence of summer was kind of gone and I'm sure all of a lot of you or all of you can probably relate um, I had this burning and I loved it. And in fact, when it was done, like it, it self extinguished itself, I found a little, um, a warmer, like a warmer plate for candles. So I put this on top and even got more of that essence from it as well. I really, really love this particular candle. I love the scents. The notes on this one are salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine petals, and vanilla, which is just, it's just beautiful. It's delightful and I love it. Um, so I will probably burn one of these before we move, maybe, or maybe I'll just save them for when we actually make it to the West Coast, which will be August, which will be perfect timing to actually burn this one, but it's so good, you guys. Highly recommend. I did get this actually on their website, the Sol de Janeiro website versus Sephora. I'm not even sure if Sephora has this on their website because I remember back in 2020, it would come on their website, go out of stock in stock, out of stock. So I would definitely just go to the Sol de Janeiro website, sign up for their newsletter. I've said this before, get your 20% for signing up to the newsletter. And if you are on to purchasing a couple candles or some more of this line, use that 20%. Then you could remove yourself from the newsletter. You don't have to use it after a while and you've used the 20%. So, and maybe you might be able to get it again. I haven't tested that theory yet, but anyway, excellent candle, one of my favorites. And then there's this absolutely ginormous candle that is perfect. <laughs> it's supposed to be outdoor candle. This is actual pottery. It is so heavy, you guys. I think we're about halfway through this. It is a 12 wick candle and it's from Flashpoint Pottery. I'm just going to flip it around here. So here you go, you guys. This is from Flashpoint Candles and they gifted this to me. When I started my channel, maybe a year and a half in, I guess they saw my channel and they really wanted to gift this to me. And so I can share with you guys six pounds of wax <laughs> um and this is intended for outdoor or a ventilated fireplace area um because there's so many wicks but this is such a beautiful piece you guys and i'm gonna say yeah i've used it outside but here in halifax with like i mentioned earlier with all of our power outages from hurricanes we did use this of course doors are open it's very warm here in september but doors are open but um perfect candle for like playing cards when it's pitch black out. Remember I was saying earlier, the little candles are good when there's still some light, but this is perfect when it's pitch black. It gives a little off a little bit of heat. This is an absolutely stunning pottery dish. It's heavy. I'm not lying. The, the dish itself is super heavy, but I really, really love this candle. And I'm not just saying that because they gifted this to me. It is served a lot of purposes for me or for us I guess in the last little while all right you guys that is everything that's all the candles and like I said I'm going to be I'm going to be hauling a new candle company soon so there will be a few more to be added to this list um but of course I will have a dedicated video on that haul itself um so anyway let's hope they all make it to British Columbia in the move don't break break don't damage be good I didn't lose anything on the way here so let's hope. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Of course, today is Wax Wednesday. If you do also like videos like 
fragrances. I also do Fragrance Friday, which is all about fragrance on your body. I also do Miscellaneous Mondays, which is a little bit of everything. We've got empties, we've got hauls. There's a lot of Lululemon. If you like Lululemon, yeah, I'm your girl because Mondays we do a lot of those. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye. Thank you.